What is going on guys and girls, welcome back to TV and Me, and it's time for The Walking Dead again, and this time it's Season 2, Episode 11. So, last episode was a tale of two stories, uh, first off we had Rick and Shane of course, who clashed heads finally, um, Rick finally approached Shane and uh, had it out with him, told him that he knew about what was going on and he didn't appreciate it, the way Shane was going on at Laurie behind his back. Um, they had a fight, they sorted it out, but Rick for one moment looked as though he would abandon Shane, but he didn't, he came back, he just swallowed his pride, came back, got him, and uh, went away with him. And hopefully Shane has got the message, he knows that Rick will take care of Laurie and Carl, and he just backs off. But like I said last episode, I won't hold my breath, but I will cross my fingers. Also last episode we had Beth. Um, who tried to commit suicide and uh, Andrea went in the room to look after her for a second and with Andrea's past she was very nonchalant with the fact she wanted to commit suicide she was saying basically your own fate is in your own hands and she allowed Beth to do what she wanted to do and in that Beth tried to commit suicide but in that moment I think she realized that she really didn't want to and uh, she got it out of her system and although the way Andrea did it probably wasn't the most PC way to do it. It sorted the issue, but Maggie isn't happy with Andrea now. She doesn't want her in the house because, you know, she gave Beth the opportunity to kill herself. And Maggie didn't even want to give her that opportunity. She wanted to try and talk her out of it. Um, but, I mean, the result speaks for itself. Hopefully, um, Beth doesn't try and do it again. But... I guess we'll have to wait and see. The only unresolved issue from last episode, in my opinion, was Randall. Um, they tried to drop him off, of course, but then in the process of like leaving him there, he revealed that he knew Maggie, so obviously he knew they were staying with Maggie, so he now knows where they live, and if he manages to find his way back to his group, he might tell his group where they're staying. All I can say about that is, at least Rick gave him a chance, you know. He went to dump him, but then he spilled all that information. He should have just shut up and let them leave, and then let he should have gone on with his life. But instead, he... I don't know if it's because he's afraid of the group he's with or he just wanted to stay with that group or he was using blackmail as a way not to leave him in that situation where he was but you know it's put his life in danger Randall's life in danger that is and uh, Rick has got to decide now what to do with him if he puts a bullet in his head at least I can say he gave him a chance you know unlike Shane who just wanted to shoot him there and then at least Rick gave it some thought he gave him a chance and uh, they did their best I just hope they resolve that issue in this episode because, you know, they left it on a cliffhanger last episode with what they were going to do, so I hope they just don't leave it longer. Unless they decide to keep him prisoner for a while to try and get some sort of Stockholm Syndrome thing going on where he starts to identify with the group and becomes one of them, I don't know. But like all things in this program, it's up in the air and uh, only time will tell. So let's get straight into the episode. This is Season 2, Episode 11. We're getting ever, ever closer to the end, but... Uh, Let's just see what happens in this one, shall we? What the fuck? Holy shit! Why the hell are they beating him? That seems unnecessary. These these people took me in. Not just guys, a, a whole group of them. Men and women. Uh, kids too, just like you people. We found this little campsite. Man and his two daughters, teenagers, you know, real young, real cute. Oh, shit. And they didn't even kill him afterwards. They just, they just made him watch. His daughters just, just, just left them there. I, I didn't touch those girls. No, I swear, I didn't touch them. <laughs> what are you going to do? We have no choice. He's a threat. You're just gonna kill him? It's settled. We'll do it today. But you can't just decide on your own to take someone's life. The group seemed supportive. But because they didn't speak back, you didn't let them. You think about your son. The message that you're giving him. Shoot first, think later. I'm asking for one day to talk to everybody. You can give me that. We reconvene at sunset. Then what happens, happens. Why they've got him in custody there, he's not like he's going to tell anyone where they're staying, so 
surely one extra day they can deal with that if Dale can get through to it. Did you, you really want to debate about saving a guy who will lead his buddies right to our door? That's what a civilized society does. Who says we're civilized anymore? That's a good point. Oh, the world we know is gone. But keeping our humanity? That's a choice. That's another good point. Let me ask you something. Every time we have a problem around here, who you think's behind it? Some might say you. Nah, don't listen to me. I say it's the guys that, that make up the rules. So what are you going to do? Rick's the leader of this group. It's Herschel's farm. Well, we ought to change that. Well, you'll lock them in a room and take their guns? Don't even think about it, Shane, you dick. I'm Torturing people? That isn't you. You're a decent man. So is Rick. Shane, he's different. Why's that? Because he killed Otis? How does he know? Who tell you that? He tells some story. How Otis covered him, saved his ass. He showed up with the dead guy's gun. But he didn't Rick ain't stupid. That. He didn't figure that out. It's because he didn't want to. It's like I said, the group's broken. She's in a better place. No, she's not. Heaven is just another lie. And if you believe it, you're an idiot. Well, he's turning into a bit of an arsehole, isn't he? Is that why you're going to kill that guy? Fixing your mistake? That's different. Uh, how are you going to do it? Uh, are you going to hang him in the barn? You just think about how you're going to make things right with Carol. Don't talk. Think. You got it. Yeah. Oh shit, Carl. Don't be snooping. You're gonna find something you don't wanna see. Oh fuck. Oh no, here we go. See, this is the behaviour I don't like where they're sort of taunting or goading. Just deal with it and move on. It's a bit sadistic. But there's a dozen of us. One of him. There's 30 of them. Killing him doesn't change that. Nope. But it changes us. We all gather and talk about this. If you've convinced them to keep this guy alive, then I ain't gonna say a damn word about it, okay? But I'm telling you now, man to man, you're wrong. And when this guy kills somebody, I ain't gonna need to say anything because that blood, that's gonna be on you. You did wrong. See, I wanna be on board with Dale in this, but I just don't feel like I can trust that Randall character. I feel like he is gonna do something bad. My grandfather brought this over from the old country. He passed it on to my father who passed it on to me. When we were in that bar and afterwards, I thought about a lot of things. If you become a father someday, you'll understand. No man is good enough for your little girl. Oh. Until one is. Go on now, before I change my mind about you. Oh, Glenn. Oh, no. Why? Carl. Just... It's gonna grab him. It's gonna grab him. I'm telling you, it's gonna get too close. Why is he getting closer? I fucking knew it. I knew it. And now he's lost the gun as well. I hope a zombie can't use a gun. If people believe we should spare him, I wanna know. Well, I can tell you it's a small group. Maybe just me and Glenn. Glenn doesn't think that okay. either. I think you're pretty much right about everything all the time, but this... They've got you scared! He's not one of us. And we've... We've lost too many people already. thing is, that one of us mentality is really you? dangerous Do because... Are you just never going to trust anyone? This is a young man's life! And it is worth more than a five-minute conversation. We kill someone because we can't decide what else to do with them. You saved him. 
And now look at us. He's been tortured. He's going to be executed. How are we any better than those people that we're so afraid of? You once said that we don't kill the living. Well, that was before the living tried to kill us. But don't you see, if we do this, the, the people that we were, the, the world that we knew is dead. And this new world is ugly. It's harsh. It's a, it's a survival of the fittest. And that's a world I don't want to live in. I think everyone else has made the transition to this new world, but Dale is still... He's right. Holy shit. We should try to find another way. Anybody else? Are y'all gonna watch, too? This group is broken. <laughs> Do it, Dad. Do it. Take him away. I think Cole might have just saved his life. I think he's just realised in that moment that his son is becoming cold as well. And he doesn't want his son to see him as that as well. He doesn't want his son to be that. Cole, go inside. Now, please. He's been a little shit this episode, hasn't he? There must be a zombie about then if there's guts hanging out of it. No! No, 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 no. 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 Oh, please don't say. Please don't say. Please get to him. After everything he's done to save that boy's life. Oh, he scratched him. No! No! Oh! Okay, hold on now. Get Herschel! He won't make the trip. You have to do the operation here. Glenn, get back to the house! Rick! He's suffering. Do something. So there we have it and surprise surprise I had to do the editing before I did this review part because I needed time to collect my thoughts, I needed time to think about it and I needed time to get over the devastation of it all because that's as big a shock as I've had in this show so far and it was, oh, it was horrible and it was most devastating because Dale fought all episode long to save this boy's life who he doesn't know and you have to respect that, that he has such faith in humanity, even in this god-awful world, that he wants to save that boy's life. And whether you think he's right, or whether you think he's wrong in that fact, you have to respect that he values life that much, and he put everything on the line. He went against the group in order to, um, in order to save his life. You know, he didn't care what people thought about him. He just had this value, and he held on to it. What really sucks as well is the fact that we saw in this episode time after time that Dale is the conscience of the group, you know, he's the moral compass and without him I'm really worried which direction the group's going to go in because no one else was stepping up to save that lad's life or even question it, everybody else was like oh, I'm just going to bury my head in the sand like Carol, I'm just going to go in the tent and not think about it, Herschel, I just don't want to think about it, you know, you're leaving that responsibility on someone else and you can't, if you're in this group you have to work together, you have to make these decisions together and you need someone like Dale in order to make you think and question every decision 
and make sure that you're not turning into like he said the other group you've also got to be careful of that them and us mentality which they seem to be developing more and more i know you have to be careful i know that but you can't just say this person isn't part of our group therefore they're bad therefore we must kill them i'm not saying that's the case with randall because i don't really trust randall but i'm just saying i don't want this what happens with randall to happen from now on in because if they do that it could just be dangerous and turn them into the group they don't want to be dale wasn't my favorite character but i respected him immensely because of his views and because he took a stance and he stood there despite what people thought of him like i say there's all this bad stuff happening in the world and you need that voice of reason there behind you i know rick is it to a degree but i feel as though rick can be swayed like we saw with laurie whispering into rick's ear i'm worried that laurie could talk rick into something which isn't beneficial to the group or someone else could given the right sob story whereas i feel dale would have stood by his values no matter what that whole death was just horrible though you probably saw i was just watching through my fingers because i had such respect for the man and to see him go out like that was just horrible I should mention as well about Carl and the fact he's the one that made the zombie escape from the mud. Therefore, he's the one that caused the zombie to go and kill Dale. And let's be honest, he was a little shit throughout the entirety of this episode. From when he went to Randall and nearly got caught by him. And then he went to the zombie and nearly got caught by that. And then he was there to watch that man get killed. He was willing his dad on to do it. And then how he was towards Carol. He was just, he was a nasty little shit in this episode. And he's a kid. And I've got to say, I don't blame him to a degree because he's growing up in a world that is full of violence and terror and day-to-day -day just anxiety. And he's a product of his environment and the people he's around. And he's been hanging around a lot with Shane. And I think that started to wear off on him. And I have to say as well, the fact that he came into the barn as um, Rick was about to shoot Randall and said, go on, Dad, do it. That saved Randall's life. Because I feel he would have done it had Cole not turned up and said to his dad to do it. Because in that moment, I think Rick saw Shane and his son. He saw that his son was cold. And for a second there, because I remember earlier on in the episode, Dale actually said to Rick, think of your son, think of the effect it has on him. And in that moment, he saw the effect it is having on his son. That it's turning him into this cold person. And I don't think Rick wants his son to be that. I think he wants to be like him and think like he said in the episode. And I have to iterate, I don't blame Carl. Um... Yes, he was stupid in this episode, he was irresponsible, but he's a child and he's a product of his environment, like I say. It was just a shitty set of circumstances which turned out that the zombie then stumbled into the camp and Dale happened to be in that place and he got caught unawares. It sucks, it really does suck, but I don't blame him. I should actually quickly mention in that speech Dale gave as well, I've just remembered that he sort of foreshadowed his death, even though... I didn't see it in a moment. Now I've gone back and I've edited the episode. I saw that moment. I was like, oh shit, they did foreshadow it. He said in the speech he was given in the living room that if this was the group they were turning into and this was the way the world was, then he didn't want to live in it anymore. And of course, at the end of the episode, that happened. And in a way, I guess he got his wish. That's the thing with the Dale character. I think that while everybody else, including Glenn, including Rick, had all moved over from the old way of thinking in the old world of that civilized world like that moment when rick took off his police uniform and his badge and that and put it away that was him symbolically moving over from the old world into this new walker world and i feel that dale still had one foot inside the old world inside the civilized world and while his views were right in that you should hold on to some humanity i think he was still fully in the mindset of the old world mentally he hadn't come to terms with everything that had happened i should actually say my own opinions in the show are all based from the other side of the fence like the civilized world we live in and i have all this hindsight i have um, an outside perspective i have our morals whereas these people are living in this situation you know and just because i say i agree with one set of decisions that's because i'm based in this side of the fence whereas if i was on that side of the fence who knows in the moment i could think completely different and that's the whole dilemma that goes on from day to day to these people so let's move on from one of my most respected characters in the show to a little moment that happened in this show which was short but it was incredibly sweet and that was the moment where Herschel handed his grandfather's watch to Glenn and 
I'm just so happy that Herschel is accepting Glenn into the family and a part of his family and he's entrusting Glenn to be a part of Maggie's life and to look after her. Like he said in the show, it can't be easy for a dad to hand over the responsibility of his daughter to another man and he's done that with Glenn and it was just a moment in this show which probably one of my most heartwarming moments. I absolutely loved it. It nearly made me well up for a second but it was magic. So that's it, just devastation and a character gone that, like I say, I absolutely respected, I think was the conscience of the group and he's going to be missed, even though Shane doesn't see it and even though the group are more going to be mourning for him, I don't think they're going to realise it but they're going to miss his presence and things might go downhill for a while until they realise what Dale offered to the group. With that being the second death which has absolutely devastated me, first Sophia nailed Dale. I know I've got a long road ahead of me, I know I've got characters that are going to go and some are going to stay, I just don't know which and who and it could be at any moment and this has just cemented that fact in my brain that even though I'm attached to these characters, eventually they're going to go and I have to work my head around that, that no one is safe. So that's it guys for another week. Um, thank you for liking the video. I really appreciate that. Also, thank you for commenting. That helps me out a lot as well. It helps the channel grow. So I appreciate all that you do to like help grow this channel into something a lot bigger. But until next week, leave me an RIP Dale in the comment section and uh, I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.